to give us an inside look into that fundraiser is W.L. Ross and Company Chairman Wilbur Ross himself. Good morning. Good to have you here uh, this morning. Good to be on, Sunday. All right. So how'd the fundraiser go? The, the, the money certainly looks pretty good for Trump. Yes, I think we did a bit over $2 million, and that's a pretty good uh, lunchtime work. So we were very happy with the outcome of it and even more happy with the interaction uh, between Donald and the people at the event itself. There was a very good exchange of views, a very relaxed atmosphere, and I think that's a very, very good sign for going forward. Uh, how long have you known Donald Trump? Oh, since the early 1980s, so I would say something like 35 years. And what is your inside look at Donald Trump? Is there a Donald Trump that, that say, um, we, don't, we don't see in the public eye? Well, the Donald Trump that I first met, which was in connection with the casino uh, bankruptcies, I, I was the financial advisor to the creditor group, and he never came to one meeting unprepared, never used any profanity or any vulgarities, was always very, very well organized, tough negotiator, but not weird, not strange, not off the chart at all. Very, very on message. And that's the same Donald Trump that we saw at the fundraiser. Um, he had everything well organized. People asked him about his position on trade. And he came forward with a whole bunch of statistics explaining that he is not anti-trade. He is not an isolationist in any sense of the word, but he believes, as I do, that we need sensible trade deals, not deals that increase the trade deficit that we have with other countries. Hmm. It, Wilbur, Similarly, is there anywhere on, on Donald Trump's platform where you don't meet eye to eye with him? Well, I don't know that we know the exact platform, but certainly on the big issues, uh, reducing taxes for everybody, I'm certainly in accord with that. Having foreign countries pay a higher percentage of their own defense costs, I think is very sensible. Germany, France, Canada, and Japan all pay about one-fourth as high a percentage of their gross domestic product on defense as we do. It doesn't make any sense. Those are not poor countries. Mm. So I agree with Donald that we should pr help provide the defense, but that's different from the idea of giving them a free ride on their own defense. So I think that's a very sensible point of view. And on trade, mm. I certainly agree. We have something like a $600 billion a year trade deficit. To put that in very simple terms, if we had no trade deficit, just broke even, that would be 4% more economic growth. 4%, that's more than we grow in a couple of years. Okay. And so